Microsoft unveiled its new Bing with AI capabilities and claiming it to be even better than Google. Both search engines are now in the race to become the best. Let's find out which one will make it. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam. For techies like us who rely a lot on searches, it's a very important aspect that we look forward to the best options, right? So while choosing the possibly right service, I have benchmarked on basis of five major things. Speed and stability, search optimization and results satisfaction, privacy, usability and UI, and money. Starting with UI. Google is known to be the minimalist search engine and that's why a simple search bar by default. While in Bing, you get a lot of ads in name of news and interest. A background wallpaper by default which of course can be changed but that's your call. The next thing about the search engines would be search. On an average, search results are faster in Google, not just because it's minimal, but Bing also has to load a lot more stuff. By the way, Google also shows its search time as well, which indicates transparency. After searching, we see that Google keeps its results page as simple as possible and rather optimizes for direct data. It also doesn't show any extra or unwanted information and people also search is found just under the first link, providing faster shifting. However, Bing shows so much data such as showing the history of the first link and all its related info side by side. Don't know about you, but that is mostly useless for me. Search optimization, no comparison. I'll explain. Google is targeted by most agencies. Most people optimize their websites on the pathway of Google for better ranking and that's why more competition arises. Although it applies filter and restrictions a lot, so it's tweaked. But I found that it's much more easy in Google to find the required results as reputed ones are ranked higher. Another reason for differences in presentation of results is that Bing uses social media signals more like how many times the article got shared or is available on social media sites etc in all this i still like the fact that bing keeps focus on .gov or .edu domains and prefer those above that's a great thing this was for computers or desktops but what if i say google optimizes sites more for mobiles now better results for good looking websites on phones okay do you use this search image option? You can directly search with an image itself. I always thought Google was better in this field. Even that's true now. Google did lag behind till 2017 to 18, but now it's superior as it displays and searches for as close as the image possible. Also talking about the advantage of its OCR tech. I just talk about Google image search, but even in indexing for different types of image formats, Google is the king. Bing also doesn't have a books or scholarly articles options in its search bar just like the finances bar. However, I don't know how much difference it makes for you. After all this, let's hop back to the result page UI. Do you see this icon here? A bulb. This feature is really good. I'm loving it. Helps in saving extra reading time to find out the content inside of a website. However, it's done by AI, so might be good for reading purposes, but it does not show exact or most relevant details of the page. Oh, did I say AI? This is a new race between both, and it started after Bing introduced ChatGPT integration with its search engine. Following, Google implemented Bard in a rush. Let's compare, or should I just say let's talk about Bing because Google has not put out anything substantial yet. But based on our research, one thing I found is that the current scenario is not that good. It's just for the name's sake present, we're expecting right answers like asking a 5 year old a complex question. Its reliability is as same as that of a 10 year old child. It might do calculative tasks easily, but not everything. Similar is the case with Google's Bard. Both companies have put heavy filters and restrictions on their AI chatbots in order to prevent unchecked and inappropriate content. So you can imagine the level I'm talking about. Good to play with, but not to be taken seriously. Not to forget that it's just the start of a revolution. Very soon we might be witnessing a big shift. 
Coming to personalization and privacy, both are data companies and of course in the name of personalization eat up your privacy. Where Google integrates its personalization in all services, Bing is Microsoft's product and can only influence your behavior at limited zones. Similarly, ads are controlled in Bing because it is a standalone setup. But Google, it will show you, feed you. Keep dressing its ad everywhere possible in all your apps, phones, website, and any point where you use internet. Coming towards the last part. Manna. Google offers you nothing in return of letting you use so much of their vast services. However, if you are a search person and a big part of your day goes into searching and surfing, then you might earn a couple of bucks as well. Maybe a pizza every week just for using Bing as it offers you an option to join their rewards program and you can earn points each day which then can be exchanged for coupons at different sites. This was the whole video from my side. I still think Google is at par with Bing and might not lose the battle in the near future by any chance. But at the same time, we know that Bing is getting better with each update. Users are jumping on it after the integration and even its reward program is luring people very well. Which one would you choose? Don't use comment Twitter. Let me know by likes. Can you? Okay, bye. You can also try this amazing browser from here. Or you can check out the most recent video here. That's it for today. Like, share, subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.